Time to make dinner. I'm done with making. Me going. Don't judge me for Oh, I need to pay. I don't want to pay for this. I have some good news. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with the part two, which is not something that I do that often on this channel, but I really want to build this app and I was very disappointed with the progress that I made in the previous video. So today I want to try and redeem myself, like actually have a working product. So in the previous video, my objective was to build a web app that was going to be able to help me pack no matter where I'm going, how long I'm going for, and it would have some smart features like being able to come up with the weather of the location that I'm going to or come up with suggestive things that I should pack. And importantly, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. I want it to be responsive and it's really not. I need to fix this. And that's what we're going to try today. The first part is going to be to look again into the code. I'm going to open VS Code and try and figure out why is the responsiveness not working. So first step, figuring out responsiveness. That's first hill to climb. Let's go. Currently, I have one page in the app. So this is how it looks. I know the color palette is not the same as my designs, which look like this, but we will fix that. I also know the icons here are not the same. I will fix that later. In terms of functionality, it works. I have the locations here. So if I try to type Singapore, I'm able to see the city. So the way I was able to do this was actually using this library called cities.json. It's this package that has bunch of cities i think almost every city in the world for the date picker i have a very generic date picker let's say we pick july 24th then i will see the dates here next i'm going to be adding a button so the user can move to the next page after i clean up the ui a bit more projects like these like creating web apps or even websites take so much time but that's where tools like squarespace come into the picture which makes setting up websites so simple. Squarespace offers a wide variety of beautiful templates so you can create your own professional looking websites in no time. And Squarespace even has built-in marketing tools so you can easily grow your audience or drive traffic to your website as well. If you're interested in starting your own website, head over to squarespace.com slash life of course to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using the code Life of Gorse. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. I'm very happy to say that the UI now looks pretty similar to the design I came up with. So this is just the first page and quite happy with the way it looks. The next step is to add a button so that after I select my location and I select my date range, I'll be able to move on to the next step. But before we do that, I'm quite hungry. So I'm going to go and make some food and get some dinner. And then we will come back and do the next screen. All right, time to make dinner. I'm done with making me goreng, which is basically needles with... Actually, I have no idea what's inside me goreng. Not the healthiest thing, but I'm going to put mushrooms inside. So maybe it's a bit healthier. And I have some salad for the side. Mushrooms. So for me goreng, you basically cook the noodles separately. So I'm going to put the noodles in hot water and then I'm going to mix the sauce separately and then mix them together. So it's very dry like noodles. Don't judge me for salad with chopsticks. Okay, we're back. I'm now going to add the button to go on to the next page where we can actually have the packing list. we have the button ready so i'm going to give you an example if i type singapore then i give a random date range the button starts to be clickable and then i'll click start packing and then we go to the next page which has the city that we selected the date range that we picked in the picker the next step is to find a way to get the weather for example is it going to be sunny snowing autumn or spring i want to get that emoji and the actual temperature range for that period in that city so i think there should be a way to get this with some api online or some weather i don't know tracker so i'm gonna try and use claude to figure out the best way so i found a weather api called open weather map and I need to get an API key. Oh, I need to pay. I don't want to pay for this. There's a different API that I can call, which is called Weather API. 
and this is their website. I'm not going to show you be logged in because then you are able to see the API key because they literally put it right at the main part of the website. So I'm going to try and use them instead. Let's create a local EMV file so that I can add my weather key here. All right, now we try to run it. I have added my API key and let's start up the app. Let's add Singapore and pick 16 to 23. Singapore is easy because the weather is usually the same, which is wrong here because here it says 12 to 25 degrees. So that's not what it should be, which means the code somewhere is wrong. I have some good news. So looks like the weather API actually works and I was able to call it for free. So now we're going to try Singapore again. The temperature is correct and I can guarantee it's correct because I'm Singaporean and I know the weather is always around that range. Just to double check, I'm going to check Berlin, Germany, which is where I am right now. And 6 to 15 degrees is pretty accurate. Let's pick Miami. 26 to 31 degrees sounds pretty accurate. So if you notice in here, the type of clothing also changes because I did add dynamic clothings to load based on the different weathers. If the weather is very rainy, then we will add items like raincoats, umbrellas. If it's snowing, then we add snow boots, thermal, like inner wears. And also if the temperature is under 10 degrees, then we will add stuff like scarves, gloves, winter coats. And if it's very warm, then we add things like shorts, sunglasses, sunscreens. So that's weather specific, dynamically loaded items, which is going to be useful. When I had come up with the design, I had come up with these eight categories and every single category is going to be collapsible. So it will look something like this. And then you would then be able to check off the different items in each category. Something like this. I think we are very close. So let's do this. Guys, it actually works. Let me show you. I'm going to write out Singapore, pick random date range, start packing. We see the weather there, categories. And for every single category, there is a cross on the right side, which is if I want to remove a certain item and then I can add a new item back in. These are just the default items that I've added for every category. And it also is dynamically loaded based on the weather of the place that we're going to go to. So, for example, we're going to Singapore, which is extremely hot. So, in health and medication, we have sunscreen. Now, let's go to a different city. Let's say I want to go to North Pole. The weather is pretty cold, 6 to 12 degrees. I have winter coat, which I did not have in Singapore because I don't need winter coats in Singapore, but I probably need them in the North Pole. For accessories, we have scarves, gloves, warm hat, all of these for the cold. So I know it's not super smart. I'm not using AI yet, but it gets the job done and I'm quite happy with the way that it looks. I think it's not bad. And yeah, next step, part three, I'm going to try and add in AI to make it even smarter and maybe make the user interface a bit nicer because I don't think it looks the best right now, but it gets the job done. I also want to publish this so it's available for anybody, which would make me happy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this small project where I got the code out and I'm happy I didn't give up and I stuck it through till part two. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.